What's up, coral people? My name is Remy, and today we're gonna set up this workhorse of a protein skimmer, the Aquamax Cone S CO1. From unboxing to assembly, and then I'll teach you how to dial it in, we're gonna get to all of that in this video. Now, it doesn't matter what size you have in the CO series, which goes from CO1 all the way up to CO6, they'll all assemble in about the same way. So let's get going. Inside the box, you'll find the needle wheel pump, the bubble plate and diffuser, the skimmer body with the outlet pipe and venturi tubing installed, the venturi, the screw that holds the pump to the base plate, the drain hose, the collection cup, and this is part of the bubble plate assembly, the skimmer base, and of course, the instruction manual. To get everything all set up, you'll also need a flathead screwdriver and potentially a skimmer riser if your sump water level is higher than the manufacturer recommended 9.5 inches. Now, let's get this thing assembled. All right, so I think what the easiest thing to do here is, is to start with the base. Here's the base. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the hole of the pump with the hole in the middle of this base plate. Utilize this nut here. You're gonna have to lift up the pump just ever so slightly and grab those threads and just screw this nut right on. And just like that, your pump is attached. The needle wheel inside here. Then you're gonna wanna start to build the diffuser, okay? Comes with these plastic screws here and the spacer. Go ahead and line that up. There's really nice, easy slots right there just line this up with those, slip it inside there, and then you're gonna line these screws up with the holes that are in the base plate as well. Now, if you've got small fingers, you should be able to tighten this on your own, but if you don't, well, that's where the flathead screwdriver comes into play. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these down. And you don't have to get real tight on this. Remember, you're, you're gonna have to maintenance this at some point, so. so. One of my favorite things about these Aquamax skimmers is these conical diffusers, so cool. Now we're gonna deal with the main chamber of the skimmer body. So on the bottom of the skimmer body are these two screws that will fit to the corresponding holes right here and right here. We're gonna go ahead and line those up. You'll also notice that it works with the diffuser plate too. So once you've got that on lined up, you give the skimmer body a quick twist and then you can go ahead and tighten down those screws. And I just hand tighten these. You shouldn't need to get those very tight. From there, we will go ahead and install the Venturi. And you can either position this so that the tube goes around front like this, or it comes from behind like this. That's how I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Just slip the yellow tube onto the nipple here. And you might have to wiggle it around just a little bit. The last piece of the puzzle here, guys, is the collection cup. There's a really cool feature with this collection cup you don't see on this size skimmer very often, and that's this 90 degree drain. So you're just gonna hook that up to the nozzle here. Now, why would you want this? Well, this is if you don't want to empty your collection cup as often. That waste would then go through this tube and into a separate waste container that would be bigger than this cup, ideally, so that you didn't have to uh, go ahead and remove that quite so often. Or maybe you've got a tight cabinet space and taking the cup off of the protein skimmer is kind of a pain. You can always attach and install a waste container through this as well, but instead we are gonna use the provided plug to plug that up for now. And that slips right in there. And to install on the skimmer body, super, super easy. Just go ahead and set this into the grooves. Quick twist. And then if you follow me on up here, go ahead and put on that cap. And there you go. Look at that. What a beauty. Looks like a little rocket ship powered by bubbles and fish poop. I like to give any new equipment. I've got just a little wipe down with RODI. If you don't have RODI in a spray bottle, it's a good thing to have just laying around so you can spray things with water that you know isn't contaminated. Before you put it in, make sure to check the water level and to make sure that that is at 9.5 inches in your sump. If you don't have enough water, hopefully your sump has some way to adjust the flow and you can increase or decrease that water level with that gate. 
Once you're ready to power it on for the first time, make sure to open that gate valve so it doesn't overflow. We'll go ahead and dial it in next. Once I've got a new skimmer up and running, I like to adjust the bubbles so they're just about below that collection cup line and then wait every 10 to 15 minutes and make minor adjustments. Now, this is gonna take a couple weeks to actually break in. So you may be fidgeting with it a little bit more than you'd want to for the first week or two, but eventually it'll all even out. If you want a drier skim mate, you're gonna want the bubbles to pop just below the top of that. And if you want a little bit wetter skim mate, make sure that those bubbles are just peeking over the top of that collection cup. Just remember over time, you're gonna have to empty that collection cup more often. Now, if your skimmer's going nuts and it's overflowing consistently, make sure that it's at the proper depth between that eight and 10 inches, ideally at 9.5 inches on the depth of the water. And also remember, it might take a little bit for your skimmer to break in. On the inside of the skimmer, it's going to get a biofilm and that's gonna make the bubbles travel just a little bit faster over time. And it might help to run some carbon the first couple weeks. If you've got any sort of chemical in the tank, a lot of times that two-part epoxy, if you've been doing a lot of fragging, that can trigger a large bubble response in your protein skimmer as well. But when it comes to protein skimmers, time is your friend and minor adjustments over time will make these the most effective. If you'd like some more valuable information on protein skimmers, we've got a couple five minute guides to help you out. You can check those out from the link right here and I will catch you in the next one.